Hello and welcome to another vlog. Uh, in the last vlogs, I shown off my DVD and Blu-ray collection, and since the biggest part of my channel is Let's Plays, gaming-based, I'm showing off my uh, yeah collection of games now uh, in physical form, and depends on how it works out. I even might show my Steam library, so this will be a multi-parter, and I do this a bit different at this point in time. This video is English, but there will be a German counterpart because I'm basically I'm from Germany and my last place are like 90% of them are German language wise and they the both videos will be identical but feel free to watch both. So yeah. Uh, we start back in the 90s when I got my first console. We start with uh, the good old Super Nintendo. This is mine still uh, working. I've got it in 1992, around about it got produced, I got it a year later or two, I don't know, 93, 94, I'm not sure, 100% a while back. This thing is like old now, it, we, I record this in 2022, this is 30 years old, and as I said, it still works. Um, <clears throat> we are starting off which, with the game, what the console came with, this one, oh wait, cam, Whoop, there. Super Mario Land, or World, Super Mario World, sorry. Um, bamboozled myself there a bit. Um, basically for those who are not as old as I am, <laughs> this is a cartridge, this goes in here until it clicks and well, controller ports, power and well, picture outlet, whatever you want to call it and yeah, you can eject the uh, cartridge if you press here, easy peasy. You have a reset button if it has, ever has a hiccup and you have a power button of course to switch it on or off. Console aside, I have to be careful I don't want to make too much oomph noises. I hear them in the last videos when I was a bit too uh, enthusiastic. I'm like, and always making noises with this because the microphone which you see here is attached to the desk. And if I slam too hard on the desk, that vibrates and yeah, well, that resonates in that stuff. So once more, Super Mario World, sorry for the uh, uh, error there. That's one of those games I have for the Super Nintendo. And let's switch this up a bit because I also, of course, as you can see in the background, big Power Rangers fan who knows the channel knows that I have Power Rangers games. Uh, this is one of, even the first Power Rangers game I got lent from uh, from a friend back in the past. It's Power Rangers The Fighting Edition. Uh, also for the people who are not from Europe, Germany, that region, uh, the Super Nintendo looks cartridge-wise and, well, the console itself looks different if you buy it in the US or in Japan. In Japan it's called, if I'm not mistaken, the Famicom. Um, oh, also before I forgot, um, I made so much noises, sorry. Um, all those games work still. Uh, I tried them out just recently. And um, here on top, the guy who was selling some of these, this, this didn't have that. Basically, besides my dumbness in the past, um, I bought some games used and there was the name written on it with a Gundam marker. I removed that just like lately and there could be cleaner, but I'm fine with that. Um, Jump Run, who, who doesn't know Mario, so self-explaining, I guess. Uh, Power Rangers The Fighting Edition is one of my favorite games of all times when it comes to retro games. I forgot to tell that. Um, it's a brawler, it's a beat-em-up game where you can fight with Megazords and monsters with a roster of 8, I think. Uh, 4 Zords, 4 monsters, let me think. We have uh, Ninja Megazord, uh, we have Thunder Megazord, Mega Tigerzord, and Thunder Megazord. And we have Shogun Megazord. We have four of those. Then we have Whip Cincher, we have um, Silverhorns, Goldar, and Lord Zed. Yeah, a roster of eight and one hidden character basically. So we have nine characters. Um, you can fight the hidden characters Ivan Ooze. You get a code for that one if you beat the game on hard mode. That's how stuff worked back in the day. No internet. So you have to find that out on your own. And if you did, you had that, or nowadays you can look that up. Um, next uh, fighting game, basically one of the mothers of all fighting games, Super Street Fighter 2. There was previous versions of this because, as you can see, Super Street Fighter 2. Um, 
bigger roster than the Power Rangers game. Pretty nice game. Um, I, I was back in the day was a bit, a bit into brawlers. I, I still like those today, like Super Smash Brothers, but preferences change over time. Uh, I'm more the RPG playing type of guy now, so I'm playing more like action-based adventures like Zelda or like role-play games like Skyrim or like Risen LX2 something like. You find that on the channel. Mm. And we swap it once more. Power Rangers the movie. Um, does not really have something to do with the movie. Um, oh, also, what I want to finish the finish the fighting game. As I said, I borrowed that from a friend, liked it a lot, and bought it myself. I only could find it used at the time for a decent price. I think it was like twenty something. I don't know, but. Um, this is, it says Power Rangers the movie, it has all six ranges from the movie in there. They reused sprites except for white that has its own sprite, its own moveset. The other things, they, the ranges have different movesets, which is pretty nice. But the story, uh, besides some monsters like Ivan is I think one of the last bosses. I, I did a let's play on this, so check out the channel on the retro section. It's in English. Um, Ivan is, I think, the, one of the last bosses. It's like a totally made-up story that has nothing much to do with the with the movie. Totally weird settings, but that's how the 90s work, basically, with those games. Um, Mortal Kombat 3. I'm not good with blood, but also with these older games, you could change the color of the blood or deactivate it completely in the settings if you're not good. Um, the newer games, Mortal Kombat, I cannot play. Uh, I would pass up because, I, as I said, I, I don't do good with blood. Um, but this is a pretty decent game. Um, they try to like kind of scan people, and it, it's weird to look at it from an Arab day's perspective. But still, it's a really good one of the best brawls you can get. Um, and swapping up, just a recent buy on eBay a while back. I tried that out and played it a bit. Uh, I think I did that on a Let's Play as well, but. Um, Per, per emulator on Sega Master System or Mega Drive or something like that, uh, Power Rangers um, game. Uh, I think Bookie, Nasty the Night Studios, played this on his channel a while back, um, if I'm not mistaken, and I didn't play through it, but I seen his um, playthrough. The last bosses in this game was freaking hard. So, full, full respect for that. Um, and now we can switch to those games I love <laughs> a lot and I played a lot in the past. This is a classic uh, RPG game, it's called Lufia. Um, I think this is wrong for the general name because this is actually Lufia 2. Um, just says Lufia for the, uh, because the original part of this was never released in, in Europe, I think. Uh, well, it's at least in this kind of... Uh, I think there is a, like a re-release nowadays um, on virtual consoles or something like that. I'm not sure. I have to check that up. But this is basically Lufia 2. Um, it's a great RPG. Even nowadays, if you're not too bad with uh, like retro graphics because it's all 2D sprites and everything. It's a turn-based fighting system. Really, really awesome game. I played... Uh, this one was one of the first games I actually, besides Mario, I had. I had Mario and this... And it is like, I just played it uh, back and forth all the time with friends and had some secrets in there. You can spend a lot of hours on that game. And also, I just grabbed this, I think, for a tenner on eBay uh, on the same day I bought the other Power Rangers game. Uh, most of the people forgot that this is in existence. Battle Racers Power Rangers Zeo. Um, I tried it. I like some racing games, more the arcade ones, but... This is basically a clone of Mario Kart um, in the Power Rangers esque universe with bikes. Uh, kind of okay, but I just wanted to have it in a collection, basically. And we're almost done. No Switch Route this time anymore. Uh, another um, adventure RPG based game uh, Illusions of Time. Um, more of an adventure type than an RPG type. You have a straight route which you follow with some secrets now and then, but it's not like uh, Lufia is kind of open worldish, I would say. Um, it has a at some point you get a boat which can turn into uh, what is it in English? Oh god damn it! Um, it, it, it it gets a balloon attached and flies basically, <laughs> and you can move across the map and. It's it's a real really good game and this is more like straightforward. You have a story you follow. You have some secrets, 
Uh, I played through it once or twice. It has a secret boss and secret endings. Well, not secret endings. It has a secret boss in it. Which totally optional. You have to collect like 50 red poles or something like in there to actually get to that boss. But it does nothing. It's just like for doing it. And the last game, which I had a lot uh, fun in the past. And still I'm, I'm trying to get the... I just have such a big power of shame on my Steam games. I have 1,300 plus Steam games, so my power of shame is really big. Uh, I have a humble, the Humble Bundle subscribed, so I get like run about 10 games each month. Trying to play that is like a lot. So uh, this is Secret of Mana. Uh, there's another m more than well more than one mana game. That's there's Trials of Mana, and there's an entire mana collection. Of the Besides this uh, game, there were other games were another um, out in Europe back in the past, and they changed it like I think a year back or, or one and a half uh, with the mana collection and with a remake of this one for Steam and for consoles. Uh, it's a great game. It's an RPG game, which is also uh, like with more an open world, but uh, you have like a more an action based real time fighting system. You actually have three characters which you can switch through uh, two mages, uh, one assist, one attack mage, and the main hero is a sword wielding or weapon wielding guy. You have um, different mana weapons you can upgrade over time. You have to find upgrade pearls for that. It's a real, like, well, you can invest a lot of time in this game and it's fun. Um, yeah, that's that for, I think, um, the vlog of the Super Nintendo. Um, as I said, it will be a multi-parter, and the next one will be the N64, and going forwards, at some point we will have PC games physically, and if this, like, kind of uh, installment does pretty good, uh, and I think it's worth, I might show off my Steam collection, I think, by uh, by ladder, and, like, starting with A to Z or something like that, and, like, oh, we have this and this and this. I'm not sure if I want to do that, but depends on how I feel and if I want to some like that content on my channel um but enough blabbing from my side thank you for watching uh if i look at the time we have a good amount which is not too short and not too long um hope you enjoyed what you see and write down down in the, cam in the comments which games do you like which games do you know what games should i get for the collection to expand that um yeah so thank you as i said once again god i can't talk anymore hard day at work thank you for watching I repeat myself, I know, uh, and stay safe till next time.